Uh, but this week's um, bad advice with Jeremy is from uh, somebody named at the real Dewey Cox. Uh, and he writes, Jeremy, I just got engaged and my fiance's mother has become an absolutely controlling nightmare about the wedding. She used to have cancer, so she plays that card every time she feels left out. How should I handle this? Ah, this is a, a very common problem, Dewey. Um, <clears throat> it's all about boundaries. That's that's a, a big key to a lot of marriages. Um, it, it, and it starts with the wedding. Uh, you just have to let her know where she stands. And it's all about good communication. Like, like with most stuff in all healthy relationships, you have to kind of assert yourself and play to her vanity a little bit. Let her know that you're doing this out of love, that you she loves her daughter. She raised her. She did a wonderful job raising a very special young lady, which is <clears throat> why you proposed to her in the first place. But that she needs to understand that when her daughter accepted the proposal, she basically became your property. <laughs> you own her. Okay. <laughs> this is about the two of you and her involvement in this wedding basically needs to be open and shut. She needs to open her checkbook and shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's where it needs to be. And... She may push back a little on that, but you need to really drive the point home and let her know that, uh, you know, come honeymoon time, you're going to be just launching loads into her little girl, which means kids are probably coming soon. And if she ever wants to see those grandbabies again, she'll keep that filthy dick sucker of hers shut. <laughs> and maybe she still pushes back. Maybe mom's got some moxie to her. And uh, in that case, that's when you... Call your bride-to-be into the room, and you tell her she needs to choose, her or me. And either way, it's a win-win for you. Either one, you get that bitch mother-in-law out of the way now, or you get to stay single. So <laughs> either way, it's good for you. Now, maybe you say, I can't do that. That's too aggressive. And I kind of figured that would probably be the case because the fact you didn't know how to handle this tells me you're probably not a real man in the first place. So... There's a more passive aggressive way to handle this, more of a deflection. And for this, Scotty, I'm going to need to rely on your improv skills. In this case, you're going to be the mother-in-law <laughs> making wedding suggestions, and I'm I'm going to be the real Dewey Cox here, and uh, I'm going to show you how I handle this. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything. So so just make some wedding suggestions to me. I th I think the colors should be <laughs> 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 Either one of those is better than whatever you're doing now, and uh, that's my advice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeremy, for my that. pleasure. That's wonderful. Happy to help. Thank you, uh, at the real Dewey Cox. Uh, hope that helps. Uh, you know, helps your your situation. <laughs> 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 Poor fucker. <laughs> <laughs>